Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well and have had a great week and are looking forward to the weekend. So today we're going to play the final faction on the easy mode, just while I get to grips with it, on the next map, which is the Forge. Then we've tried all the maps, we've tried all of the factions, and then next week we can go back and start ramping up the difficulty. So let's get into this one. So the guard are basically the Cybran. They've got all of these spider walkers and stuff and heavy lasers. And they do have some super units, much like the Aeon variant do, the Chosen. So I'm expecting... Oh, oh wow, this is... Well, firstly, it's Seton's Clutch, isn't it? Or near enough. So this map is absolutely tiny. So there's our first issue. My command is a lightning ball. It looks very cyber, doesn't it? Right, anyhow, I need to start building stuff quickly because <laughs> they're going to attack me very, very soon. This is going to be a lot harder, actually. You know, T1 engineers, what else we got? We got a land scout, we got a fast unit, we've got a tank, we've got artillery, and we've got mobile AA. So we'll just have that start producing tanks and artillery. Now there's points over here, but they're right at the edge of the map. I assume we might get attacked from both sides. I think this is part of the difficulty thing. So the first map you get loads of resources. The second map you get less. And the third map you get very little. So this might be very painful. We might actually lose this one. Because there is a lot less here. I think we'll... Put down some power plants along here. So that's building tanks and artillery. We're going to have to upgrade the resources really quick. Really, really quick. And maybe rely on little base defenses to defend for the first wave or two. What else have we got over here? So we've got point defense, we've got AA coming soon, we've got a wall, a transmitter, I assume that's like rate, no, the transmitter and radar, what the hell's a transmitter do? Tech center, tech center, that's oh, a naval tech center, oh yeah, because we can have a navy on this map. We should probably do that actually, because we haven't seen any navy yet. I really want to build a wall. Oops. There was wall in Supreme Commander, wasn't there? It's been a little while since I played it, but... There was wall. So this is the first wall I've seen in this. I'm a little bit confused how this is going to work. Does it have lightning across the front? I don't know if I can rotate the buildings. You know, I really don't know. I was expecting it to be like a laser wall, to be honest. And it almost looks like it would be if you had another one of those here. Let's put down... Let's put down a naval factory. Because I'm very curious. Wait, hang on. Is that just broken? Because I can't place it. How, how does this work? Oh, you... Wait, what? You place it on land? Well, in fairness, I guess maybe all of their stuff walks with legs and then turns into a boat. Like the Cybran... At least one of the Cybran destroyers did, didn't it? How the heck does this work? I'm very confused about this wall thing. Can you rotate buildings? No, that changes between the different... What is that? What even is that? I just pressed E and that's... Oh, that's that there. It's an engineering station. Okay. Oh, that uses... 
that resource look, not just power. Okay, I'm just going to build that there. No idea what it's going to do. I assume it builds stuff, but... Uh, you two come and build... A couple of those there. Uh, you come here and start upgrading this. You come and build... A couple of air factories down here. How does this work then? I don't think this is finished, is it? No, I can see through the floor. <laughs> I don't think the naval factory's finished, guys. I haven't even looked at these builders yet. They have some really cool unit designs, to be fair. Um, I'll put down a couple of turrets because we're going to get attacked soon. And. I guess. Oh, we got loads of units at that side, so just let them do that. I'm going to stop building tier 1 thingies now. That's upgrading. You guys come and assist the commander. You will also come and assist the commander. We'll start upgrading all of the resource points. This is... It's got a small circle on it. Once we've upgraded a couple of these... We will start building units out of these two as well. There is these resources here which I'd like to get, but... Oh, here we go. So they come from that way. Don't know if they'll come from both sides then or not. They have the same sort of building things as the Chosen. I imagine they're going to change that. Like the beam. Get stuck in there. Overwhelm. Maybe they're not going to come from this side. Let's build the thingies there and just hope that they don't. Let's upgrade that. They should upgrade these pretty quickly now. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do that one, that one. That one, that one. That one, that one, that one, that one. That's all the ones in the middle done. You come and help the commander, you come and help the commander, you come and help the commander, we'll just get everything upgraded. Nope. I skipped over them all because I haven't told them to upgrade yet. But I don't want to do them all at once because it'll take a long time to upgrade them then. Builders are faster. Could do some T2 units, I think. What can I build here? Air Scout, Fighters, and T1 gunships. Oh, that's new. Start building some of those. I think they'll come in hand. Uh, it's expensive, though. But I feel like T1 gunships are going to come in very handy because they very rarely bring AA. Uh, next one. They all hover. Is that the same for a lot of it? No, they have wheels. They are artillery pieces. Get stuck in there, guys. There's actually a big wave coming, isn't there? What I'm going to do is just put down a couple of turrets because I'm really concerned that stuff's going to come that way eventually. But we'll see. Right. They're all upgraded, so this one's next. The command is very slow. <laughs> getting places.
At least we have some fighters there. I really want to upgrade this to tier 2, so I'm just going to do it. Screw it. And they're all coming from that direction, so this side might be okay. So maybe upgrade those next. Get them on that one. So there's one, two, three there to do. As long as we've done those. Is there one in the... We've done the one in the middle. Just stick these out in the middle of the area because they'll just engage stuff that gets too close. Yeah, the command's very slow. Could do with speeding him up. I still want to know what a transmitter is. Well, those units just stopped there. Maybe because they think they want to engage these things, but... Are they like drones that just fire directly down below them, almost? That's different. They're also not very accurate. Look at this one, he's missing constantly. I guess they are T1. Yeah, these feel a bit buggy to me. So, cyber and drones feel a bit buggy. Because they're just kind of... ...being weird around the target. Let's just send these units up to engage. Where's our commander? There he is. Come and upgrade the next one. I'm going to upgrade all of these here. We'll just have these guys go around and assist... Yeah, I don't know about those uh, T1s. I'm going to stop them building. We'll get some T2ones. Right, T2 builders. That should be the builder, yeah. T2 engineer, fast unit. That's... Grenade bot. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's upgrade these. Because that sounds helpful. And these things are just... Look at them go. What are they doing? Uh. Now, when you say pre-alpha, this is what we're talking about now. <laughs> That's pre-alpha. Go, my crazy, crazy units. Engage! I think one of them died. <laughs> I really am very confused as to what was going on there. Never mind. We are low on power. We need this... Engineer. Who is nearly there. Excellent. Come here and build me two power plants. T2 energy generator. There we go. And the command will come and assist with both of those. Along with his little fleet. This thing isn't close enough to help. Can it help with any of this? I don't really know if this is working. Oh, there we go. I told it to assist that, and it started spinning. Was it spinning before? Stop what you're doing. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. It is making that go faster, I think, because it's slightly ahead of that one. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. What are these things doing? Still upgrading. very low on power. It's my own fault for not building enough power plants. <laughs> These things. Just, what are you doing? What are you aiming at? I mean, you are actually doing some damage from time to time. Which is kind of amusing. 
I wish the camera didn't snap back constantly. It's very frustrating. I hope they remove that feature. Like, I want to be... If, if I do that, I want it to stay there without me having to hold the space bar down. There is apparently, like, a cinematic camera mode, but I'm not sure how much difference it'll make. Right, so we can build. What else can we build? What does a transmitter do? I'm going to build one. I have no idea what it does. A guard T2 transmitter. But what are you? We've got a shield generator. We've got a stealth field. We have anti-air. We will at some point have an anti-drone defense. There's that's going to be a T2 point defense. Radar. Tech centers. We get some artillery, but it's hidden behind this. I can't click on it. That's awkward. And I can't move that. I'm playing in 2560 by 1440p. So I'm playing in 2K and I still can't click on that. Unless, but I can click on, I can select that one, but this one must just be too far behind this. That's awkward. Let's just send everything in to engage. Let's get these grenade bots on the go, shall we? Down a couple more power plants, maybe down here. We have plenty of power now, at least. Let's get rid of that. Stop building that. Maybe build some fast units. Next job is probably to upgrade some of these to T3 to do that one there. Since it's there, there anyway, to assist. Costly endeavor. I lost all my units to that wave. At least I'm getting some better units, hopefully, this time. Still churning out tier 1s, but I got tier 2s coming out now. I assume the grenade ones are like long ish range. I think that's their range. The, yeah. So that's their range. This is T2, so we can put down some T2 guns. Let's do that. Put ourselves a little fire base. Send those to assist that one. Let's upgrade this to T3. It's a tier 2 builder. Let's put down... Let's get all those T2 ones to help here. They're distracting those units and stopping them coming forward. Which... is kind of buggy, but at the same time... Kind of glad that they are. I just really need to get these to T3 so I can afford more units and better units. Let's just charge at these enemies because we just got to keep moving, I think. It's looking good. There, finish that one so they can move on to the next one. Off you go. You guys have finished that one. Let's do the next one. These need upgrading. He's got plenty of units coming out. We're going to stop that and upgrade that to tier 3 as well.
These are still going reasonably fast. I'm at minus a little bit. So I'm losing some, but it's not the end of the world. We will pass it. That's going to be a lot less, actually, isn't it? Once we get down here, it might drop again. But no, minus 24 should be taking that into account. So it should just stay. Yeah, we'll just stay minus 24. See, these things are preemptively firing where it thinks these units are going to go to, when really they need to be firing at where they're going to stop. Let's move these over here and just see if they do a bit of damage. Next one. What are these guys doing? Still got a long way to go on that. Something big back there, look. I'm just going to chase it down. These guys can build a power plant back here, I think. I'm going to pop a shield down. Really want to upgrade these things. Just need a bit more power. Still slightly worried that nothing's come from this side, and I still feel like something might. Next one. At least we're doing better on the resource front now. A little shield here. Uh, you. Did we decide what this did? It's just a transmitter. I have no idea what it does. At all. Put a radar down, but I don't think it does us any favours. But I am just curious. Let's stick a power supply down next to it. Gonna lose some units here. Get this upgraded. We're very close now, I think, to just saying we go T3. I'm gonna start upgrading that independently. After you finish that, go there. These guys are building fine down here. I really want to build the artillery piece, but I can't click on it. Because it's behind there. I can kind of highlight that one. Maybe you just can't build it. Come here and help this building, because I'm going to upgrade it to T3. Wait, if I already... I've upgraded it to T3 already. Fine. Completely forgot I'd done that. So we've got... T3 fast unit and T3 tanks, but no artillery. So let's get some T3 builders out. Red, that, that. Right, T3 builder. So T3 builder, we can have alloy extractor, we can have that. Alloy furnace, okay. We can have AA, a shield, strategic defense. Radar, something that's not there yet, and level 3 arty. Beautiful. So, let's put down a power supply here. You guys help the... Come and help these. Let's get these built. Oh. Maybe engage with some of these units, eh? Did I upgrade these to T? No, I didn't. Right. Let's just get those upgraded to T2. I'm forgetting to do stuff. 
And it's going to cost me because we're starting to get our asses kicked here. Get me over here and build me a T3 shield generator. These guys can manage this. Let's start building tanks. I think we've got enough engineers now. You guys come and help that thing build stuff. These are all upgraded, so there's nothing left to do over there. These guys did a good job. I really want to build a T3 artillery there. What's the minimum range on it? It doesn't show. Okay. That's awkward. Um, help this build T3 tanks. Help build T3 tanks. You can come and start building T3 land factories. You guys can't... Oh, that's T2 gunships, so we'll start building those once it's upgraded. If we need to, we'll sit under the shield. I guess we build... I've got T3 AA. Let's put a shield down there. Starting to hit us with long range RT. Really need to be firing back at them with RT. Put down more guns. Here we go, this should help. Actually proper gunships, hopefully. We're doing okay for resources, just about. Though this shield isn't going to last forever. Give me another power generator there. And then build a T3 shield here. Maybe we need to think about building T4 units, because we can build the... They got T4 RT and spider bots and stuff. Expensive, though. These... Okay, so these ones actually aim and attack, look. So these ones are much better. Good. T2 works. Are right, you guys... We're going to try and build a T3 Arty here. It doesn't utilize the power supply thing, I don't think. So I'm going to build it further back then. Surely it has range across the entire map. It must do. Right. What haven't we upgraded? This one. You need to build another shield generator there. And that next to it. Power's not looking good now, is it? You come here and build me big ass power plant there. I just don't want the power to go down, or we will lose our advantage. With the shields being there, protecting some of our units. I'm losing loads of units there because I'm putting them in front. They actually have a decent range, those grenade launchers. But it's quite a wide spread in the area they're hitting. So they're not great. I think the, uh, the gunships are doing most of the work right now. We do have a bunch of these walking tanks though.
Let's get this upgraded. And there's one left after that. Which I'm just going to upgrade straight away. Then we'll get it to come and help build that afterwards. And then we'll get it to help with this T3RT. I have no idea if it'll be any good. Gunships are definitely helping. They dish out a lot of damage. Soon, sooner or later, some of those circle units are going to come in, the big stompy ones. I really like these gunships, they fire very fast. I want these to perhaps start building stuff, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build that last one, and then I'm going to switch to building air. And then out of interest, can I build a... That is a naval factory. But again, you can only build it on the land. And I'm assuming it's going to be bugged, like this one is. Where are they out there again? I'm sure I told them to be close. Oh, it's that one, I think. Stay under the shield. It's a T1 engineer. There's a T3 engineer. Don't know what else to build at the front, to be honest. More shields. Is all I can build, really. Up to T3 and put some T3 shields down. Shields over shields over shields. I remember building weird shield combinations with the bigger T3 power things at one point in Supreme Commander. I remember there used to be a particular pattern that made them all cover each other. Not that I remember that now, of course. I do like the music in this game. I think I mentioned this the other day. Oh, speaking of big stompies, uh, everything, just go and assist with this, because we need to kill this quickly. Right, go and help build this. We need this thing up and running, don't we? You maybe build another power plant. So we have all of that. <laughs> all the T2 stuff's firing, but... It's really... These things that are doing the damage to it. We need this artillery piece up and running. What do I get in a T3 one of these? <gasps> oh, I thought it was going to be strategic bomber. It is there, but I can't click it. So T3 is pointless in these buildings. So, I can build T2 stuff out of it, though. Very disappointed. But, uh... T3 had nothing really worthwhile at the moment. But it is what it is. This is taking a long time to build. It is not cheap. It is not cheap. Do we send this to go and help build it? Or do we start building... What does that cost? 300,000. I might as well have built that one for 500. Is it time to build a super unit? Stompy robot. 
That's cheaper. Let's build that. It'll just help with the fence. I'd build more tanks, but I'm not sure how much benefit they're going to be. Oh, shit. Big Stompy. Big Stompy. Couple of you go and kill that. Right, the tanks can go in. They're going to die, but we might as well make use of them since they're there. This is going to, like, obliterate them in one hit. Oh, it's turning around. That's handy. Las cannons! Go! Yes! Okay, that, that was... They were actually really cool. I wasn't expecting them to have las cannons like that. That's... Yeah, okay. Happy days. That, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Go and help build this. We are now low on... resources minus 63 I guess we could pull the command off that minus 28 is better let's get the command on this building get some more power and then maybe we could build a alloy furnace which will give us another plus 10 let's have him help that We'll finish that and then move on. Concentrate on the big stompy. You guys come over here. Try and do as much damage to that as we can before it gets... Oh, well, that's going down rapid, look. Those T2 gunships are awesome. Yeah, Cybron T2 gunships. Sorry, <coughs> Guard T2 gunships. Get stuck in. Look at it melt. They fire so fast. Pew 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 pew. I have to do the noise because they're, they're actually silent at the moment. That is a very nice screenshot. I'm just going to print screen that. <laughs> That would have been a nice screenshot too. <clears throat> yeah, so just use T2 gunships for defense. Problem solved. Don't need any ground units. Uh, we nearly built that now. Which is going to cost some power. But it costs a bit less power because we've got these. Would make it cost even less by putting another power plant next to it? I reckon we can. Just need to be careful with my power supply. These are okay at the minute, but I don't want the shields to go down. How's this build going? I completely forgot. It's almost finished. Nice. This is still taking a sweet time. I don't think I'll get away with building the T4 artillery. To see if it works. I don't think there'll be enough time. Let's put every builder on it. Look at the state of these units. Oh. Hang on. Everything on that. There is a way, and I can't remember the hotkey, to take multiple screenshots that get saved in this game. Look at that explosion, though. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I don't think I need anything else other than these for defense now. They are really strong. Especially since they don't have any AA. I think that's the main thing. The enemy aren't sending anti-air. I never built my T3 one of these, did I? 
I'll just upgrade it and see what happens. In fact, why am I doing that? It's such... It's probably an insane waste of... Uh, it looks bugged now. I think I broke it. it. Looks like it should upgrade, but it's not actually upgrading, I don't think. Should be able to build another one. Oh, I can't fit one in. I was going to say it'll take power off both of them, but... Not the right space. Yeah, the gunships. Why, why do I need anything else? Right, come and finish this off. Everyone can help. This is very close to being finished. Crazily close to being finished. It's fully healed, or its health bar's full. It's just finishing the engineering bits, I guess. Marvellous, right. Go and help with the artillery piece. And this can just come and stand in the middle of everything. They still walk a little bit funny, but they're not bad, considering it's pre-alpha. Oh, hang on. You guys better get all over that. Very nice explosions. So, all oh, this is nearly done. Do you think I can get away with the T4 one? Maybe. I've got plenty of units this time. It feels a bit more. Considering I have less resources. Oh, it's going, look. Where's the T T T4 unit? This is very expensive. I'm going to build it anyway. Everything on it. it. Should be all my builders now on this. Is this thing firing? It looks like it's preparing to. Impress me. Oh, there it goes. Look. Oh, it's like one of those things that fires stuff into space that they designed where it spins it round and round and round and round, round and then fires it. It's probably going to land on my own units. Where is it landing? Oh, is it, is that one of them there? Oh, it landed near that. I didn't see the explosion because I was too zoomed out, I think. But it did a lot of damage. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm just going to turn these ones off. Save ourselves some resources. Let them continue building that. Still don't think we'll finish it. Oh look, another stop. Why is it just stopped there? It's like it's bugged and doesn't know it needs to attack something. We've got a nice like set of statues there of them all destroyed. Looks like all of my uh Little gunships emerging into one above it, like a little crown look. That's quite funny. It's a good job they don't collide. Oh. Here's the final wave. I'm just going to turn these off, because... Is that still producing tier one units? Jesus. It was still producing tier one units. It's kind of concerning. And this this wall is just <laughs> annihilating everything that comes in. You know what I should have been using for the screenshots there? I should have used the um the, the is it F twelve, F eleven or something that you use for Steam to take screenshots in Steam games if they if it's working. Right, get on top of that, guys. 
And this big artillery piece can also fire at that. And these ones will engage this. And we're just going to send all of this stuff out as well. Fire everything! It's all the T1 artillery I built up. <laughs> oh, melted! AoE blasts from the guns. Boom. See how cinematic this game could be if I had proper control. Maybe I can plug the controller in and it'll give me better control. Is this unit dead? No, it's just not attacking. Get in there! Everything! Go! Never going to finish the T4 thing in time. This is going to fire at the enemy. It doesn't look like it wants to fire. It just immediately died. That is so cinematic. I, I just don't I have to move it with my mouse, so it's not as smooth if I move it with a mouse. Whereas if I have the... Um, controller it's all nice and smooth for this stuff in other games at least my little tanks are still alive look oh oh they were no they're not I mean the gunships are gonna finish the job right there's so many of them lost most of the ground units this is almost finished I could pull them away and let it finish, but the thing is, if I do that... It'll just march through all my defences. Am I still building any ground units? No. I don't need any more air units to be fair, so I'll just turn these off as well. They're going to kill that, no problem. And this thing's still firing at it. That is an impressive looking piece of kit. But it's never going to finish in time. Look at that graveyard, though. No! I can't see the graveyard! You monsters. Oh, wait, wait, now, can I now? I still kind of have control of the camera, but not completely. It's moving in one direction constantly. That must have been because I was pressing something as it ended. Yeah, I can't have to control it with the mouse. Zoom in down here, turn it around. No, zoom out. Zoom in down here. I'm trying to get it angled right. That might be it. Look at that super unit graveyard. That's pretty cool. If I wasn't constantly moving, <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Right, anyhow. GG. I quite like the cyber faction in this. The guard. I think they had some cool units. Those uh, gunships are stupid. Like, really stupid. We need to start playing on a higher difficulty level. Um... And I think those gunships are going to help us do that. <laughs> we'll abuse them while they're that good. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see you all soon.